It may not seem like much sitting for about five minutes, six minutes. But still, it's good to give the mind a chance to settle down, because it's only when it has a firm foundation that it can take on the various defilements or little bits of greed, anger, aversion that can come from all around. We talk a lot about having all-around knowing, and your practice has to be an all-around practice, like a fence around a house. If the fence isn't totally around the house, if it's just in front of the house but not behind the house, thieves can sneak in the back. So you want to make sure your fence is all around. Or you're like one of those characters in those action movies where the hero is surrounded by five or six different guys all ready to come at him, and he has to figure out how to fight them all off at once. Well, you can do that only if your foundation is really good, if your foundation is wobbly, then you don't, have, you don't stand a chance. So you want to make sure as you go through the day, if you find your mind slipping off, you just bring it right back. Slips off again, just bring it right back again, because your only hope for, for finding any peace of mind, any insight of any kind, is if things are really clear and the mind is really solid. So after morning, we're, we have fewer people than normal. And everybody's been busy running around. It's good to stop being busy and stop running around for a bit. Just get the mind to settle down. Start over again. Reset your your meditation. Make this a habit as you go through the day. And that way, the your mindfulness becomes more and more frequent. Your your stability of mind becomes more and more frequent. It'll get so frequent that everything just kind of blends into one another. Like a John Cha's image of the, the water coming out of the kettle. First it comes out in little drops, and then you turn the kettle up a little bit further and come, the drops come faster, and then finally it reaches a point where there are no individual drops, and the drops just meld into one another and they're a stream. You want your mindfulness to be that way. But in the beginning, don't look down on the little drops. At the very least, make sure that the drops get more and more frequent. And you're that much closer to having this steady stream of mindfulness, a steady stream of alertness, so that your foundation is solid all the time, no matter who comes and no matter from what direction. <laughs>